Another comedy sequel that has been quite a few years in the making. Didn't work too well for Dumb and Dumber 2. Zoolander 2 or Toolander, depending on what poster you saw. So Zoolander 2 is a sequel to the 2001 movie Zoolander. And in this movie, Zoolander goes into hiding because he believes he's no longer in fashion. He has lost connection to the world, he has lost connection with his son, and pop stars are being killed left and right. And now it's time for the fashion police, or at least that's what I call them, it's time for them to find Zoolander and bring him back. Now as far as sequels go, this is not a bad sequel. However, it is not great either. Like the first Zoolander, I had fun with it, and I found enjoyment with it. Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson do a great job in this movie. It's great seeing them back working together on a movie. And you can really tell that these guys love working together. There are some great moments where they are bouncing off of one another and generate most of the laughs for this movie. As for the rest of the cast, Penelope Cruz was good in the movie. She wasn't a standout, but she suited her role well. Kristen Wiig, I thought, was a nice addition to the cast. She played quite an eccentric character, and she also generated quite a few laughs in the movie. As for the rest of the cast, they could have been played by anyone in the movie, and I wouldn't have cared any different. Will Ferrell's character from Mugato return to this movie. I didn't really see the need for him to come back, but he's back and he did a good job in the movie, I guess. He wasn't in the movie for as long as you'd want him to be from what the trailer showed you, but the bits that he is in, he is... Will Ferrell. As for the humour in this movie, some of it did fall flat at times, but there were moments where I did genuinely laugh. Nothing made me laugh until I ached, but I did laugh at the movie, just not as much as I was hoping. And there were moments in the movie where it did go very over the top. And I know that sometimes that's to be expected from a comedy. I mean, if you look at the last movie, he stopped a ninja star just by looking at it, so I kind of knew that going into this movie. But there were times where it did feel too over the top, and I just didn't feel like it fit. As for the direction in this movie, Ben Stiller again proves that he is a pretty talented director when it comes to directing comedies. As we've seen from Zoolander and Tropic Thunder, the guy knows what he's doing. And he does show that again in this movie. And I know it sounds like I'm shitting on this movie, I'm really not. I did have a good time with the movie. No, it's not as good as the first one, but I did enjoy it for what it was. And so for all that, I'm going to give Zoolander 2 three stars. So guys, that's my review of Zoolander 2. Have you guys seen it yet? What did you think about it? Which Zoolander do you prefer, the first one or this one? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends, it'll help my channel out a lot. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.